Good day, grade 7. Today is our Mappy Art 7 in the second quarter, week 3. Again, my name is Rinaldo B. Malimban. In today's lesson, we talk about the principles of arts. What is the principles of arts? The principles of art is the language art has principles of guidelines that govern how artists organize the visual elements and how they create their work of an art. Artists use the language of art in the different often the highly imaginative ways. These are the following principles of arts. First is the emphasis. What is emphasis? Emphasis is a making an element in a work of stand out. To attract viewers attention to important parts of an artwork, artists use the principle of emphasizes. Emphasizes also can be created by contrast or by the stream changes of an element. Next is the principle of art in proportion. What is proportion? Proportion is a concern with the relationship of one part to another and to the whole. The principle of proportion is not limited to size but the elements such as color can be used in differing proportions to create impasses. Another one from principle of arts is the movement. What is movement? A movement is the principle of art that is used to create the look and feeling of action. You may not have realized it, but when you look at work of art, your eyes move from part to part. Artists use the principle from the movement to lead the viewer's eyes throughout the work. Another principle of art is the variety. What is a variety? Variety is the principle of art that is concerned with combining one or more elements to create interest by adding slight and changes. This variety is the principle combining one to more elements and create the interest of adding slight of changes. The same routine day after they can be become dull. When the color is shape is repeated over and over in an artwork. It can become equally dull, but to avoid the dullness, artists use the principle of variety in their works. Another one from principle of art is the harmony. What is harmony? Harmony is the principle of art that is concerned with blending of elements to create a more calm and restful appearance of an artwork. If too little variety can become boring, too much variety can create chaos or just like the example of variety that too much variety in food decorations create chaos. Simple like that. Let's talk about how to study in an art. There are four important steps in piece of art. The process of studying, understanding, and judging an artwork is called art criticism. There are four important steps that are 
taken today that art critics to do judge a piece of art. These are the describing, analyzing, interpreting, and judging. First is describing. In describing an artwork, the create identifies the different elements, used and principles applied to create the design. Next is the analyzing. In the analyzing an artwork, the critic focuses on the work of composition. Next is interpreting. In interpreting an artwork, the create focuses on the work content such as the message, idea, or feeling expressed by an art. Next is judging an artwork. This is talk about your input regarding example of the performance task. Every performance task, the teacher will give some example of the rate in rubrics. Now, in judging an artwork, the critic judges an artwork depending on his particular aesthetic view. Why? Because there are three common aesthetic view are The one is the subject view. In the subject view, example, the chair or the still life. In the subject view, if you take note a life, it also gives the subject view like the the expression, the intellectual, or the emotion. That is a subject view in life. Accordingly, how the judging artwork can give the common depending of artwork. B is the composition view. In the composition view, it involves analyzing the artwork according to the use of elements and principles of art to create the visually pleasing design. And last is the content view. In the content view, this view, what counts most is the content or the mood or the feeling that an artwork portrays. So, that's all for today's lesson in MAPI 7 Art. Please watch my eClass Learning Platform for the next week. Thank you again, your teachers in Mapi Art, Mr. Rinaldo B. Malimban.